Hi guys, so I'm going to show you how to set up your watercolor Chicka Chicka Boom Boom paintings. We are working in Sharpie to start, so make sure that you work very slow and very, very easy with your letters. Before we do the Sharpie though, I want you to write your name and flip your paper with pencil. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to do our alphabet with Sharpie. So when we do this, we want to work very slowly trying to do our very best letters. So we're gonna start with A, and I'm gonna do capital letters. So A, then I'm gonna turn my paper, and I'm gonna do B. Turn again. I'm gonna make that one big. You can change up the size of your letters if you'd like. Every letter you're going to turn. Next is D. E, F, G, I'm going to do a big H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Q, R, S, T, U, V, W. As you run out of room, just put your letters where they fit. X. Y. And we'll do a bitty Z over here. Next, what we want to do is we want to trace our letters using marker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with purple. And I'm going to trace five different letters. I'm gonna work really slow. I'm also going to use the side of my marker to get a really thick line. So there's one. Pick any letters, two. Two. Get that really thick line. Three. Four. And five. Then I'm gonna switch colors and do the same thing. There's five, switching colors. At the event, at very end, you should have one letter that is left over. You can pick any color you want for that letter. Next, what we want to do to make our marker turn into paint is we're going to take clear water and a paintbrush and brush a little bit of water onto that color. And what that does is it makes the color spread out and almost look like watercolor. So just using a little bit of water, you can Put your color right on your paper. You're gonna have a little bit of mixing colors, which is okay. I think it gives it a tie-dye effect, which looks really, really nice.
At the very end, I'm using just a little bit of clear water to fill in that extra white space with a beautiful wash of that crayon paint. Perfect, now that my piece is filled up with that water, I don't have any puddles, I'm gonna pick up my piece, bring it over to the drying rack and let it dry.